This year we have nothing. Tonight it's been a little different, uh, to say the least. Well, new tonight, the second biggest night of the year for bars. Not going to be a big money maker this year. The required shutdown for businesses in Marin County. Putting a damper on celebrations. Wish TV's Dan Klein joining us now live from Kilroy's in downtown, where things, Dan, will be wrapping up before the clock strikes midnight, sir. But things are picking up just a little bit here at Kilroy's. There's a small line outside, but still, here at Kilroy's, last call is going to be at 11.30, and they're going to try to encourage everybody to leave by 11.45 so they can make the county mandated closure of midnight. Well, it's not a surprise to most, it's still disappointing. Night that is usually one of the busiest looks nothing like it in downtown Indianapolis. Between this and St. Patrick's Day. With social distancing, Kilroy's can get about 25 to 30 percent capacity max. Have you hit that yet today? No, not at all. I am um, even after the Pacers game. No party favors and no champagne toast this year, which seems about right considering there's no big crowd either. And while the rules are the same on December 31st as they've been for weeks, General Manager Laura Roseberry wishes there would have been some. Some exceptions made. It's been like a long seven to eight months. I wish they would have extended it even to just 12 31 o'clock, but we will try again next year, I guess. The rules are no surprise for Tim Barrett on a quick weekend getaway with his family from Dearborn County in southeastern Indiana. I think it's the norm. I think it's the right thing to do, the smart thing to do. And this won't be the first time he misses the festivities in Times Square. There's been a lot of times where uh, I've never seen the drop ball drop because I've been asleep before it ever did. Around the corner at Tin Roof, there's a band on stage, but still a lot of empty tables around 7. There's still a toast this year. It's just going to be at 1130. Management wishes the city would have extended the hours of operation or loosened capacity restrictions just for a night. Ball drop is such a big thing. If they were to give us at least 30 more minutes, I think that would have been, you know, something nice and easier to do. Still, it's not all bad. Getting out of here at midnight is not... I'm not complaining about it. But others might be. Smaller crowns, smaller tips on what's usually a big night. And those here know if they just cross the county line, some big nights are probably still happening. Pretty much just slap in the face sometimes. I live in one of those counties, so to me, it's pretty ridiculous leaving here and going to a bar that is completely 100% capacity less than two miles down the road. I talked to a lot of people when I was here with the late dinner crowd. Most people told me they were going out early to avoid the midnight rush and did not have plans to leave Marion County to watch the ball drop legally in a bar outside the county line. Reporting live downtown, Dan Klein, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook. All right, Dan, thank you.